I fully appreciate the concerns raised by some tenant leaders. I would have never supported this project if I did not feel comfortable that tenant rights have been protected here with Parker said. I say this as one of the few tenants on this Board of Supervisors, as someone who has been a staunch advocate for tenants before I was elected and with my votes on this board. My uh, parents immigrated to the United States in the 1960s and I was the first kid born in the U.S. And my parents sacrificed everything so that their kids could have the opportunities that they wanted when they came here. I grew up in the Boston area, lived in different parts of Boston, went to a Catholic high school in Dorchester, which is a section in Boston. Because of my parents' work and the opportunities they gave me, um, my brothers and I uh, were all blessed to go to Harvard University. It was intense. Uh, I stayed there for college, uh, for law school, and I also have a master's in public policy there. And those are subjects that I decided to study in part because I was very interested in public service and public policy issues and government. I ran for office in part because I wanted to serve the city and really protect all that's so special about what San Francisco is. We've been talking for years about how important it is to build new neighborhoods, to develop new affordable housing, to make sure we have transit-oriented, sustainable green development that really is worthy of a 21st century San Francisco. And what we are doing today, and frankly what we're doing this year, is going to have impacts on this city for decades to come. So thank you all for being part of this, and I look forward to that ribbon cutting. I moved to San Francisco 15 years ago for all the reasons that we all love our city. Our cable cars, our hills, the diversity of our neighborhoods, and have loved every minute of being here. Like many of you here, I didn't actually grow up here in San Francisco. I grew up in another part of the country that was not quite as tolerant or quite as diverse. San Francisco drew me as I think it drew all of us because we live in a very special place. And I just want to say on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, we have a special responsibility and a special leadership role in the world. As we come together, we symbolize all of this faith that we have in humanity, the faith that we have in the fight for civil rights, the faith that we have, frankly, as a common family. And so I consider myself someone who shares the progressive values that many San Franciscos hold dear. We have been a beacon to the rest of the world for these progressive values, and uh, that's where I see myself. I do believe that a majority of this board share the same progressive values, and I think there is a danger in an overly narrow definition of what is progressive. We have to remember that being progressive stands for values of inclusiveness, of tolerance, of acceptance. And we need to think hard about how we characterize various votes of either being within that definition or outside of that. Before I ran for office, I worked in San Francisco as a criminal prosecutor and as a civil rights attorney and really got to understand how much of a beacon to the rest of the world as San Francisco is for social justice. I also then spent a number of years uh, helping to grow a small business, got to understand the innovative spirit that is here in San Francisco. At night, I volunteered as a neighborhood association leader and also as uh, the chair of an affordable housing organization and learned so much about the challenges facing our neighborhoods and facing really the special jewels that are the urban villages that we live in. San Franciscans are incredibly interested in their city government and local politics and in making sure that we remain as a city the most amazing city in the world. I learned that uh, San Franciscans during campaigns read everything that they're sent in mail, love to meet candidates and engage with them in conversations. I also learned how important it is to build bridges between different communities, particularly communities of diversity that we have was just incredibly honored to have been elected uh, in November 2008. My district really encompasses the ethnic and economic diversity that exists throughout the city. And as a result, I actually think my district is really emblematic of the entire city. And you can find every political perspective that you could possibly want in District 3. And so oftentimes, the interests of my district and the city really are quite aligned. 
and so I don't have to think about those differences probably quite as often as some of my colleagues may have to. And I in particular want to thank the mayor for his decision to uh, protect our nutrition programs. This is something that uh, I think we all believe is incredibly important at a time when we've seen massive federal and state cuts for us to hold the line here locally and stand up in the city of St. Francis for our seniors and our, and our nutrition programs and our families. I think we have a lot of challenges right now. We're still in the midst of the Great Recession and we all know way too many folks who are struggling in minimum wage jobs. We know folks who've been laid off of work. I think as a city, we need to do much better at creating an environment where we have more jobs uh, and more economic development. I know that all of us are committed to ensuring that we have a budget that not only provides basic city services that we have come to expect, but make sure that we take care of our most vulnerable, whether it be our at-risk youth, whether it be our seniors, our disabled, whether it be our working families, whether it be folks who are out of work, and I know that is something that every public servant who is here is committed to. Edley is someone that I think we should all come together as a board, as a city. We should come together as San Franciscans and colleagues at this time, I hope, and I ask that we unanimously vote for Edley to be our next mayor. This is also a historic day for the Asian American community. For a community that has been here in San Francisco for over 160 years. I am a product of that community. I know that Ed and all of us who are of Asian American descent feel the legacy. And I want to thank all of you who have been part of this historic moment to make this happen and say that this is obviously not just about a Chinese American community or an Asian American community. This is about the American dream. The idea that anyone from any background, of any color, from any part of the globe can come here and someday be at the very top of what our community is about.